Greetings, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate the views. Um, we're going to cover adding sevenths and extensions to simple chromatic harmony moves. In this case, one, five of two, two, five, then back to one. I cover a ton of variations on just this move alone in my chromatic harmony course, which has 150 examples of chromatic harmony which I am converting to all keys. And if you want a serious harmonic workout, wait till that's finished and check it out. So we're gonna use one, five of two, two, five, one. This is in my chromatic harmony course. So I'm not gonna explain this. I would probably use better voice leading like this though, not block chord jumping like that. In my course, I do cover things. I'm like walking up with the same exact progression. Here it is twice. Still the same progression, but with a walking up bass line. I explain all that kind of stuff and have all kinds of examples doing that. For instance, let me just think of one on the spot. Here's the same exact progression, but with a couple of sevenths. So now in this, we're gonna add sevenths plus other extensions. Now, I just wanna take note of this. I want this part to be very clear. It's not the progression that's more complex when you start adding tones. It's the chords that are more complex. It's still one, five of two, two, five. This is a more complex progression, even though the chords are a little bit more basic than what I'm gonna show you. Why? Because look, you start on C, you don't even hear C another C except a C7 until the end. And the C7 actually serves as a secondary functioning chord. So it's not the tonic. In other words, it's not the return point. Playing this example really slow, we get this. Which is way more complex progression than anything we're going to use in here. There's a difference. You can find the same progression in my chromatic harmony course. You see it's example four in a certain episode. So again, to clear things up, like a let's take a one, four, two, five. That's still the same progression regardless of what kind of chords I use. It's the progression is not any more complex if I do it like this, with these chords. It's still the same progression. The chords are more complex. Okay. I just want that to be very clear that that's still one, four, two, five. The progression isn't any more complicated. It's the chords that are, and I've seen a lot of people mistake those two things. So we wanna make sure we do not mistake chord progression with chord complexity. One, four, two, five. With that in mind, let's move on to the examples. We're, we're just using one, five of two, two, five, one. We're just making the chords more complex. Here's number one. Couple of sevenths, a couple of ninths. It's all written out for you. Now number two, we're gonna show you something. You could, no matter what kind of secondary dominant you use, five of two, you could use a five regular nine or a flat nine and it still works going to the two. So let's go ahead and play through this really quick. So that was the only chord that changed between one and two. Play it with some rhythm. You see it works. And you're gonna find with secondary functioning chords that almost any type of alteration will work. In this example, we're using the sharp nine as the five of two. But the proper way to spell it is with a B sharp, okay? As the regular nine, if you sharp that, it's still a B sharp. But however, in the case of this, you may wanna leave it as a C because it's as enharmonically a C all the way through. In case you ever want to harmonize like the C note, you can realize that that sharp nine would work in this situation. Let's say that is your goal. You want to harmonize that C note. And you could leave the fifth out of the sharp nine. I just have it in there to show the third stacks. In fact, that's why I wrote it out like this, this kind of voice in it is so that C note is always constant, but it's still the same harmonic progression. Let's play it. 
I'm not going to play anything difficult. I'm just going to arpeggiate them out. So we could say 13 or add 6. It doesn't matter. I put add 13. I mean, that's subjective. A lot of the time on the 5 chord with the 11th, you'll leave the 3rd out. So it's basically playing like an F shape over the G. Produces that 11th sound. So let's move on to example 4. Okay, we got this 1, 5 of 2, but we have this 5 of 2 that has the sharp 5. Okay, that's like an augmented chord with a 7th. Basically, it's the same exact tone. So you notice the augmented chord goes nicely to that D chord. So just remember when you're doing proper notation, it has to be A, C sharp, E sharp, G, in order to be that A sharp 5 flat 7. In my chromatic harmony course, I cover these uh, resolutions to augmented chords, but technically it's still, a dominant sharp 5 chord is still the same chord as an augmented chord with a flat 7 and both can resolve to the same chord. So let's play through the progression. You notice it still works out and we're still using the same basic chord progression. If you remember this about dominant chords, you could alter them in many ways and they will still always work in the resolutions. So here's number five, which has a dominant flat nine in the five of two. And then I want to include 113 in here. You could also resolve that uh, 13 like this with the 7th going downward and have no 5th. Either way, it still works. Again, the same simple chord progression. More complicated chords. Here's a little hint. If you want even more variations, try the 5 of 2 with a flat 9. Let's go to the 2 minor 7th. The 5 with a sharp 5. Back to the 1. So we, we have another variation of this. But you, you should understand secondary functioning chords. Let me come up with one more variation. Just to, I'm going to combine a couple else. Let's do a... Uh, let's use that sharp 5 flat 7 at the end and do something like this. C major 7th, A9, D minor 9, G sharp 5 flat 7, 9 to C major 7, add 9. And if you don't know your extensions, learn the basic version first because it's not going to help you any if you don't know the basic version because we're just playing the same progression over and over again. The chords are becoming more complex. The progression is not becoming more complex. Just remember that the chords are, not the progression. The progression is still the same. 1, 5 of 2, 2, 5, 1. So thank you for watching and have a great day.